morning and welcome. Hi, morning, Godwin. So let's talk about the Canadian link to the Bloemfontein link, not Johannesburg or <laughs> Cape Town, Bloemfontein link and you. Yeah, Bloemfontein always seems to be the most interesting topic of conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> For a tech to company. Z yeah. We so, okay, so why Canada? Um, we needed to raise venture capital yeah. and the venture capital markets on the west coast of um, the North, North America is just a lot thicker than in South Africa. So sure. we could get a much higher valuation and they're more willing to take a chance. Right. So that's why we raised in Vancouver and we went into a um, public cash shell on the Vancouver exchange and right. that's why we became a Vancouver public company. And Bloemfontein, should I assume, is where you come from? Yeah, I've been uh, b born in Bethlehem, but I've basically spent my entire life in Bloemfontein. Right. So, if I connect the dots, South African, big ideas, off to Canada, but can't leave home. Yeah, no, I can't. Um, Bloom, I think a free state is for long grass. It just creeps into <laughs> your heart. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. So, you look after the engineering side of it. Just make me understand, maybe for the benefit of our viewers as well, just mm. what you guys do. Because you use all these big words, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and then you're predicting what I do as a consumer, and I'm getting very scared. Okay, yeah. So, I think actually we are yet to help. So, there's no reason to be scared. But when you read my mind? <laughs> 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 so... Uh, yeah, okay, it's an interesting topic, but let's sure. separate it out a little bit. So people often use the words AI, machine learning, um, data science interchangeably. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and really, AI has been long for such a long time. It's making machines think and take action um, the way closer to how humans would. So if you take a very basic example, the ATM machine mm -hmm. is basically a form of artificial intelligence. It's doing the work that previously a teller would have done. So it can see how much money is in, account, in your right. account and give it to you and then see what the remainder is. So that's a form of artificial intelligence. Okay. But artificial intelligence has massively advanced I over the past few decades, especially since the end of the 2000s. And now you get the new form of artificial intelligence, machine learning, right. which is just a lot more powerful because it can do, it can look at data the way humans would and right. make inferences of how variables interact. Yeah. But it can do so at a massive scale. So you can have this huge, huge data sets and yeah. all of a sudden machines can help us make sense of it. No, no, th so the way I've thought about it is almost like a machine trying to ape the thinking ability of a human being. Would that be correct? Yeah, and in some instances, it's actually starting to exceed our ability. To think better than a human more being. More and more, yeah. I'd like to see a machine try to ask them the questions the way I ask them. <laughs> 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 Do you think you'll get to that stage someday with artificial learning? Uh, it's interesting and that machine learning? It's interesting that you'd mentioned that. So I think obviously the more people driven a uh, task is, yeah. uh, the more so a celebrity like yourself probably is would be the last thing or person to be replaced. Yeah. But um, since you're on the topic, so Google at the end of last year launched something called Google Duplex where they were able to have some uh, of, um, uh, AI yeah. phone a hair salon and make yeah. an appointment completely on its own so yes. it could understand scheduling. So yeah. we are getting close. Is that what you're doing? Uh, we don't work in voice recognition. Uh, I would say tell me what you're doing. Yeah, so I would say what we do is a bit more interesting. Tell <laughs> me, <laughs> tell me, tell so me. So we work on the consumer problem, and what's essentially happening is, uh, whenever a consumer makes a purchasing decision, yeah, uh, there's a couple. It's a four-leg question that's being answered. So it's who is buying what, at what price, at what demand level. So I mean, you would, pr for instance. Maybe buy one BMW at a million rand, but maybe you would be buy one for your wife as well when it's 500,000. So you always have those four things. It all works interchangeably. And what our algorithm does, we can take a company's raw data. So just the transaction data, if we just took, uh, let's say, a retailer and we look at the, in, um, at the till slip, just what was sold at what time, yeah. we can go and pull that apart automatically and we can start making predictions of who will buy what and how many at what price. And then we can help them optimize. So we can help them have the correct inventory in stock for you and charge you the price that would maximize value to you. And send them time and money from making something that nobody wants as well. Yeah, yeah and that's a big thing, especially in the media space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to tell my boss about this one. <laughs> tell me, um, you used a big word there, algorithm. What is it? Just explain. Okay, so algorithm is a set pattern of doing things. Uh, so it is a basically a decision-making process. So if this, then do that. If that, then, then do this. So it, that's what an algorithm is. Sure. Thank you. How long have you guys been around? So, uh, Xenia was born four years ago. Okay. Uh, cool but 
Uh, excuse me? Who, who, who established it? Oh, yeah, so I was the founder. Uh, what actually happened, uh, we started the previous company around about 2009. In Bloemfontein. Yeah, and that company got acquired by a U.S. company called Wailopa uh, in 2013. And uh, so in about 18 months, uh, me and the engineers saw that there's a gap that AI is going to become a commodity or become standardized. And we really, really wanted to work on the problem that way, as opposed to building this bespoke artificial intelligence systems for people. And we had a really good idea, and then we had to struggle about two years to get the necessary funding, but uh, we got it done in the end, and that's right. how Xenia was born. Right. And uh, so, so, so the, the, the South African link <coughs> and the company, where does it come in? Because you're saying you run the engineering side of it but yeah. from Bloemfontein. That's right. And then run the overall company from Vancouver. Well, um, so the chief, so the CFO and the chief legal counsel, etc., is in Vancouver, okay, and okay, we've okay. got some sales running from there. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm the CEO, so that's been so basically the main decision making is still, still being done. So then, me. which leads me to the next question: When are you coming home? As in, on the JSE? On the JSE. Do you know there are now five exchanges in this country? Yeah, I um, I used to work on I used to work in commodity op on the JSE. Oh, 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 oh yeah, and oh, and for the a long futures time division. Yeah, and for a long time it was consolidating, and I see we going the opposite direction. What did you get fired? Uh, I get fired. No, we we from the commodity side. Oh no. What no. happened? Well, no, in, you know, at the end of two thousand and eight, yeah, um, liquidity just dried up completely. Yes, so we I remember. used it. Yeah, we used to do about. Uh, maybe 2,000, 3,000 contracts <coughs> a day in White Mouse. Sure. And for the longest time, for about maybe 12 months, it was 400 contracts, and most of that was off screen. So there just wasn't any business left. Sure. That's when we realized, okay, <laughs> we can start doing, we can do the same thing, but <coughs> we'll maybe move over to, uh, yeah, well, something different. And that's when we moved. We saw that the same sort of artificial intelligence can right. be applied to basically um, internet traffic. You moved ahead. So when are you coming back to Joburg? To the JC? Yes. No, not to the uh, JSC. Remember, oh we said there are five exchanges, so you can make your pick. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now I'm yeah. sorry. Now yeah, I'm no. getting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> is that right? The yeah, I wasn't the same frame of mind as you. Yeah, so actually, uh, you know, we're working hard to be. Uh, I'm working really hard to keep Zenia uh, African business yeah. and to generate <coughs> solutions for South Africa, which yeah. we can be proud of on the world, sta world stage, and that would be part of it. So I'm working on it. Okay, you know we are recording, right? I know we're recording it. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to remind you. Zian, thank you for coming <laughs> in. <laughs> Thanks so much. <coughs> Zian uh, Shina is the CEO of uh, Zenia 